Dorfman Molnar, Nice 1996, shows a similar theme and with pressure against the weaknesses on A7 and C6. But it's one, there's one major difference. White cannot open the kingside to invade with his rook or king there. The kingside is closed. And this makes it more difficult. But here I think that, that yeah, white should be winning in a way as Molnar proved in the infomat. What do you do? To exchange knights or not? And really go a bit deeper into the line. And I think Molnar is right. White should exchange. And then in wait. If the king goes to e8, and yeah, okay, the rook invades here, so uh, and the king goes uh, to the queen side, then the knight can invade. So Molnar's main line is king e7, and yeah, he white dominates and has good chances to win. After rook d8, this is even uh, some kind of pawn ending, and well. Uh, Black is lost. Six swung and game over. So black must try rook b5. But here white's activity counts for a lot and somehow black has lost the coordination of his forces. So white is probably well, winning white has at least very good practical winning chances. Last not least, due to Black's offside knight. So Dorfman should have gone like uh, played like this to um, transform one advantage into another. Okay, but he decided to stay in this configuration, which is also reasonable. But I was a bit surprised how good Black's defensive resources are. Well, the knight can really put up stubborn resistance. Uh, here it is interesting to play like this, but again, then white would have to transform the advantages, and I, I can understand that Dorfman didn't play it over the board. And it's not completely clear, but it is one way to make progress. So, but it's understandable that Dorfman just kept the position for the moment. Here again, he could have tried the approach to open up the game, but probably he just kept the position, waited for the time troubles, good practical strategy. So maybe uh, it's a bit exaggerated to criticize his moves. Yeah, trying to. Annoy the rook. Yeah, and here came an important moment. What to do with black? How here was a possibility to change the structure and to regroup strongly. Yeah, I think that c5 should draw. And then regrouping the knights to the best positions next to each other, controlling all squares on the fourth rank. And yeah, then it's not easy to see where white, how white shall make progress or where he shall in wait. But it's always difficult to, to make such decisions because of the black's rook looks a bit strange at first sight, of course. So they cooperated, and Mona also decided to keep the position. And it was e either in time trouble or missed his defense. It's now white won. But I couldn't uh, prove a win as black still has a tactical defense here. And then I couldn't find a way to break his setup. Okay, first find the tactical defense. Yeah, rook a5 and knight e4. Okay, so for the moment black doesn't lose material and then yeah it is by no means easy to to destroy that yeah, the, the knight the knights have um, 
a strong defensive power here. Again, they are next to each other and defend a lot of squares. And I couldn't find a way to, to break that. Okay, White can also put his knights next to each other and then try the important uh, endgame weapon Zugzwang, which is often employed when fighting against knights, of course, as you doubtlessly know. But here, yeah, I don't know uh, how to exploit uh, a six. I, I couldn't find a way, so yeah, I don't know. This might still be objectively drawn. Of course, it is uh, yeah, very annoying and difficult to play over the board. But as White cannot open a second front on the king side, his uh, weapons to win are a bit limited. So maybe Dwarfman should, from an objective point of view, have uh, transformed his advantage into another one. And now the best moment was probably here. Just exchange one knight and then seize the opportunity to invade this uh, the rook. Yeah, this should give very good um, practical chances. As the small initiative in this endgame with rook and knight versus rook and knight often weighs very heavily. <laughs> 